Oh, how are we all doing? <coughs> how are we all doing, Ralph here, Ralph Custom. We have a chilly one. We're just going to finish off just a short little video finishing off the back brake on this XS 1100 for our demo. Yeah, let's do it. Fucking dokey, here we go. We're just hovering above freezing. So, the, uh, minus, not minus, we're one degree. Yeah, maybe 32 degrees in bananas. It's certainly a fresh one. Right, now, so you join us. <laughs> it's kind of a part two to this rear brake fitment on our Dermot Success. We've got the bracket welded on. We can't, uh, if we. If we came round, we had a sneaky beak under here to see if we could weld the back of the bracket how it is and we can't, we need to lean it over and get in a bit better, so that'll do for now. Put the blowers on, because it's fucking twat, twat degrees in here like you've just seen. I can't feel my thumb, which is probably a good job. We won't mention the safety third on the other fucking thumb. Anyway, <coughs> now that's holding my lips are numb. We are now going to fix the brackets on to the pivot look. So we've clamped the blade down and we've obviously got a magnet on here holding that in position. We'll get a couple of tacks on with a TIG. Excuse me, burping coffee. It is first thing in the morning. And then we'll take this over to the bike and get it in place on the pivot. We'll see where the bottom bit needs to go where the lever, the actuating, the short little lever needs to fit, so we'll uh, have a guesstimate at that in a minute. Okay, so with that tacked on and mocked up, we can see where that needs to go. And basically, not I hate saying basically, sorry. What we're going to do is mount this back here a ways, yeah, because we want to snug this up. We don't want it in a direct line from the bottom of this bracket across, it will hang down a bit low. So we're going to do a dog legged rod to connect them with a clevis on one end and a socket on the other and it screws into here so we need to make a stainless socket and we need to make a staggered stainless actuator rod don't know if that's the right word for this uh, stainless clevis on the end yeah whoosh so what I'm going to do is clean this shit off and look at mounting this and try and mark that up where that needs to be and get that welding on. I'll do that first, then I'll grind this off, clean it up, and then I'll look at making a replacement something to mount that on, like fucking so. So, <clears throat> we have a bit of 40 mil flat. Look, I've just cut this out of a bit of 50 mil, which I didn't bother filming, because, you know, how exciting is that? Um, and what we're going to do, it looks quite tall there, but. Once it's in place, it will be uh, less than auspicious. I'm sure you will agree. I'm going to space it off there. Basically, I'm going to drill two holes and <coughs> six mil clearance so we can screw into the existing. Yeah. And we're going to make a couple of spaces about 10 mil long to make it stand off. And that will give us a clearance. Look, <coughs> come with me. That 
I'll give us the clearance that we want to get it somewhere about there. Yeah, <clears throat> sorted. So I'll do some measuring and marking and drilling, and then you can join me on the lathe, I reckon, most likely. Uh, right, I'll stick a, a pillar shot, pillar drill shot, because you've got to admire the mighty meddings. So I need to check that out, actually, Jay. Thanks, mate, for uh, the heads up. Okay, fucking do okay. I'm hoping you can hear me because I've uh, got the heaters ramped up. I'm just going to make a couple of spaces to stand off, like, to stand off that rear master cylinder. So I'm just facing up this bit of stainless tube. get an M6 or six and a half mil through the middle basically so that's faced off let's just um, break that edge come in with a sensor drill everything's a bit cold I know turn the blower off and we can get in sensor drill and drill dab a loop that's what separates it from the animals. Check out the merch in the uh, description below. Uh, let's just get this started like so. We'll go a little bit onto the shoulder there. Give ourselves a nice start for this signal hole. Right, maybe the 6.5 that's it, so I'm just gonna wind it in. Start and now I'll lock off my uh, tail stop. And I need this to be 10 mil long, so we need a little over 10 to allow for the taper on the end of the drill. That's that up. 12, well, a little bit more. Sorted. Right, so with that in place, let me fucking thump. <laughs> We'll give it a quick clean. We'll just knock that burr off, look. Get that burr down. Touch on. And what are uh, we want? A quarter of a mil. 0.25 is there. Boosh. Out of the way with that. Get in there and break that edge. Like so. Delicately does it with the wee one just to break that edge. jobs of fish sorted so that's that together look with the stainless spacers in against that plate and that's going to sit on the bike square like that with the inlet on a jaunty angle i'm sure you'll agree back where the one is that uh, was that we just took off so i'll get that tacked on off camera and then we'll look at making the linkage up <laughs> Don't forget folks, our Fuckstock stickers are now available in our Etsy store, link in the description below. Fuckstock, you know it makes sense. Like so, so that's now fitted. So what we need to do is this, don't we? The old 45 or whatever I'm gonna do. Stick a bit out 45, 45 again. So we've got this stainless clevis that end and we'll make a little sleeve up that screws onto there, I think. So, yeah, that's all good. Well, I know. If my friend next door is not banging too loud, you'll see I've got a bit of 8mm stainless rod. Um, and I've literally clamped up one inch in the vise and bent it 45 degrees-ish. So I've mapped out this is the length I need to go from linkage to master cylinder. Uh, and this is how much I need to go up, which is more than I thought. So we've made a little Z. I'm gonna cut it off with my trusty hacksaw. I really enjoy using my trusty hacksaw. Um, and then we'll bevel the ends 
and we'll get caught in some thread on it. And then we need to make a little sleeve adapter up. You'll see. But I'll get this cut off off camera. You can join me again when I'm threading the ends. Right, so with that cleaned up and a bevel put on it, we can gently run this die down to cut the thread until we hit the bend. And what I always like to do is go one, two, and back and break that chip. One, two, break that chip. It works nicely, breaks off the shit and lets us get the job done. We need to be steady away because of the stainless, it's tough. I can feel it like. Uh, a bit more lube. And I'll go that all the way down to the bend, flip it over, do the other. Know. With that done, look, see, we've got a long thread for the clevis and the lock nut and we're going to make a little sleeve here that joins these two together i've just trimmed that off off camera they're quite long this is standard we don't want it that long because we're working in a joint space uh, i'm going to go and make a sleeve out of stainless 11 mil diameter m8 thread through it 20 mil long and that's going to use to join these two together and then we'll uh, we'll have it bolted back on i reckon that'll be about it all right let's get this uh Sleeve made. I'm going to make it out of 12 mil. Fuck it. 12 mil's all right, nice and chunky. So all I'm doing is facing that up. Yeah. And then I'm going to drill 6.8 hole in it and part a piece off so that I can then hold the smaller thing and have a through hole. If you know what I mean. We'll see. So we'll face that off before we come in. The centre drill. Nice and steady away. Just like so. We've got that in a ways to give us a bit of a chamfer on the edge of the out room with a 6.8. What I'm going to do is push it on there and then while my tail stop back, so I'm turning the handle but it's not cutting until I reach the 10 millimetre mark on the gauge that you can't see on the, the slide. And we want 20 mil plus a cut is 23, so 24, 25, just to be on the good side, on the happy side. So again, that's where the centre drill is, so it cuts really easy. And now we're just pure cutting with a 6.8. I will steadily work that in until we're at 24, which will be 34 on my slide, because I started at 10. In fact, I'll just give that a dub more looby do bit. I've just started to feel a bit crunchy. Uh, slide it out and slide it back in again. We'd be a lube on, eh? As you do. Uh, we're just coming up to 20 mil now. We'll finish this off, and you can join me for the uh, chamfering and parting off. Right, a little bit of chamfer in the hole. Just a touch, like so. A little bit of chamfer on the outside. I was going to say on the shaft, and then laugh like a kid. Like a kid, hey, if you knew me, well, you do know me. There you go, so that's that done. All right, now we get ready to part off, so touch on that end, and we want 20 millimeters, so we'll move along 23 and a quarter. I like my quarter, don't I? For the face off 23.25 coming up, come on, there. I'll just rock off my saddle there. And the way she blows, Captain. It won't take a lot to part it off. Well right, done, let me demonstrate my handy dandy quarter liner. So we've got that part held just nipped up in the chuck. It's not quite running through, so what I do is wind this in until they start spinning together quite happily like that. And then shut it off. Now, tighten it up. You can't quite see, but I'm here, love. Tighten this up. Move that out of the way. And that's running as true as it fucking can be. Sorted. Okay, so, that running through, we'll come in. We'll break that bird. Touch on the face. Move along 0.25. 
she's really off to it, one-handed, here we go, come on then. So she's there. Yeah. Bear with. I'm coming with the chamfer tool again. Put a nice chamfer on there. A chamfer tool here. Just to put a nice chamfer on there. Right, before we slow things down a good way. And Oh, we have that spinning on us. Fuck off, that didn't work, did it? Let's get out of there. Let's just back out. And I'll give it a, a little love tap off, off screen. Bear with right. Second time looker. Here we go. That's the badger. So we'll work that pretty much all the way through. We'll reverse it out. At speed, and the job's a fit. Quick blow off. The uh, were misses, and we should be golden. Right, so with that made and everything screwed together, a little tweak on the end here to get it all to the right length. I reckon that that is good to fucking go. We'll get it screwed onto this clevis and I don't think we'll be a mile off. Like fucking so. So, squib, 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 squib. There you go. A nice firm fucking action on the back brake. I think everything there is absolutely fucking bob on. Oh, I do. I think that'll work lovely. I've used this bracket as it is. I thought about shaping it, but it, you're a custom. I know these really well. Everything was done on a bracket like that. Like, like that. Oh, that's one of mine. I don't know what I mean. This lot is one right here, look. Everything was done on this bit of square with an hole in it. So I wanted to keep it in keeping. What I'll do now is strip that off, get this TIG welded on, the levers TIG welded on. Um, get the back end of that welded. I've done both sides of that, I could get in, no worries. We'll have another fucking con, contorsh, contortionist, contork? I don't know what the word is. We'll have another twisty pokey fucking try and get in it, see if we can weld that up. We'll do a little bit of welding then, on the frame and the uh, blades, like I say. And that'll put us about right. Right, as a final fettle, we have got a bit of emrev wrapped around a stick with a slot in it look and we're just giving it a polish inside remember i said earlier in an earlier uh, edition i said about that maybe when it's welded it would fuck up a little bit and tighten up and i hope i'd left enough clearance well i've not so we're just giving it a polish out with the emrev oh right, so hey, come on focus so we have these welded and sorted sorted and welded Back break it nice and solid. That needs to go on there. Oh, it needs to be shortened, but I'm not doing that. Dermot can do that. Cleaned off, re welded, welded both sides, foot pegs on, gear change on, seat done, front end sorted. I think the jobs are fucking good. And let me just get a screen grab for my thumbnail. Yeah, maybe not the best, but we'll see and call it a day on this bit of the job let's see what's up next so there you have it that is another one ticked off happy days it just leaves me as always to say thanks for watching if you like what you see give me a thumbs up consider giving me a sub hit that notification bell check out all the bumps in the description below and i'll catch you on the next one yeah i'm off now i'm gonna go and have a thaw out so i'll see you soon big love everyone